Hello there, so today I'm going to be unboxing four different art boxes from the last four months and I've not done one of these videos for a little while now because I like to collect them to unbox them um, and I know some of you really enjoy these kinds of videos, some of you don't but I try to make a bit, little bit of variation in my content so if you do enjoy it then this is for you, if you don't then you don't have to watch it but I appreciate you clicking anyway to let me know that you didn't want to watch this Basically, I wanted to make this a little bit more sit down and chatty of a video because I feel like I kind of enjoy the more normal videos from time to time where it's just sitting and talking. So I'm gonna be sat here in front of my mural thing, um, partially because it's just a more relaxed environment and also partially because I literally cannot sit and film in my office right now. The floor is all nice and vacuumed and tidy. Let's ignore all of this crap, but still, look how nice this is. You might want to sit down, get comfortable, grab some snacks, get a drink, because this is going to be this is going to be a hefty video. So enjoy. Okay, so to start off with, I purchase these boxes out of my own money every single month. Um, they're not sent to me. This is not sponsored by Smart Art. They're they're fifty dollar art boxes. They're not they're not cheap. So I kind of like to see what they provide every single month. I'm back with scissors and sugar because every time I go in the kitchen, you can't trust me. Gonna pull out the nearest sugar I can find. Now, out of total curiosity, like no no relevance to anything coming in the future. Um, if I was to maybe work with an art box company at some point, not this one, but at some point a different art box company, um, and then maybe have supplies that I like inside of it, would anyone be interested in, in seeing that or thumbs up if you if you would maybe like to see that? That might be quite, you know, let me know. I might be working on something. <clears throat> okay, so inside the first box here, we have some orange tissue as per usual. Inside we have, what month is this? No, it's not gonna tell me. Okay, this looks like a fun box. As you can see, we have a few different spongy things. Oh, there's a lolly, oh, there's a lollipop. Do I need more sugar? So first of all, we have some Princeton Art and Brush Co. Real Value brushes with synthetic hair. We have a round and two shaders. I personally don't really use brushes this shape. I prefer more rounded shaped brushes, but these will work for like smaller details, I guess. So I just don't tend to use ones like that. Next up, we have some Crafter's Choice sponge stiplers. Looks like we're gonna be doing some stippling today. I've never really done that properly, so we will see. So we have a Spectrum Noir Sparkle Glitter Brush Pen. Clear overlay. Give your creative projects some extra sparkle with these fabulous glitter pens. Each has a fine, flexible brush for accurate, mess-free application. I think it's probably just something you put over regular paint to give it a bit of sparkle. Next up, we have some watercolour postcards. Oh, oh, you know what? I actually really like these kinds of things. Oh, how cute. Oh, these, these are, ac oh, these are actual postcards. Oh, this is so cool. Ah, oh, they fobbed me off. It's only half full. I got excited. I mean, it's still a lot, but they kind of like, you know, it's half full. Hannah Mule watercolor postcards. They are 105 pounds, 230 GM cold press matte. So you get a nice little, um, a little tin with a turkey. Oh, it's a chicken. Is that chicken? It's a chicken, turkey, chicken. We have these really nice round edged postcards that are actually like postcards. I almost want to like, take a trip. But then again, I'm kind of not going anywhere this year, except to my kitchen for more candy. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll paint my fridge or something along those lines. Okay, we have three more things in the box today. Actually four, if you count this sticker here, smart art sticker. Very cute. Next up, we have a Harmony by Spectrum Noir water reactive dye for blending and distressing. We actually have two. We have one in blue and one in purple. Okay. Fancy terms, this is called crushed velvet and this is called parakeet. So these look like, are they like little stamps or something? Slow drying and water soluble for a range of layered blended effects. So inside, oh, it's like a little stamp. Reminds me of old shoe polish, but oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. I like that. That's very pretty. And this is the purple shoe boot polish stuff. This is a beautiful color too. I bet those blend really nicely together. I like that. I really like that. I'm not sure how it works, but we'll, we'll read up on that. And lastly, we have some Acropen graphics pens. I have so many of these. I think art boxes tend to favor these because maybe they can buy them in bulk or something. We have a black, a yellow, a red, a blue, a kind of mauve. Then we have a gray as well. And these tend to have two nips on each side. So we have like a brush side and we also have a find point which is really nice. So it looks like you can use these like a normal stamp pad, which is really cool with the stippling brushes here, but you can also add water to it to give it a kind of watercolor effect. Um, and you can use the glitter overlay pen to add glitter and shimmer to the background. 
Guess what time it is? Sponsor time! Today's video has been kindly sponsored by Native, who are a natural deodorant brand. And I know that I'm an art channel, don't just, 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 just don't, don't skip. I'm very, pa I'm very passionate about this, this deodorant, and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, a few years ago, I learned something bad about something that is in regular deodorants. I'm not allowed to talk about it right now, but um, basically, if you look up what regular deodorants have in them, they're not, they're not good for you. So a few years ago, I started my journey along the deodorant aisle of a store. Um, and one I came across, I was like, oh, this is nice, it smells like roses. It turned my armpits orange. I was like, beginning to give up on my natural deodorant journey. But then I found Native, um, and basically Native is, without a doubt, the best natural deodorant brand that I've ever used. They're basically aluminum, sulfate, and paraben free. They smell really good. I was sent a cucumber and mint, a lavender and rose and a coconut and vanilla. This one smells like a birthday cake to me. This one smells very florally and this one smells just fresh, which I like a lot. But basically it dries really, really fast. It's not sticky and it's just great if you're on the go. I found that the scent of it lasts just as long as regular deodorants do. It's also vegan and cruelty free, which is always one of the best things a product can be. You can choose from so many different scents, which is really, really awesome. You can also get an unscented one if that's something that you would prefer. So if you'd like to get 33% off of your first native deodorant, pack check out the link in the description you can get free shipping worldwide whether it be usa uk germany france australia canada brazil you are what you put on your your biggest organ your skin so for now thank you so much native for sponsoring this video today and i'm going to continue opening my next boxes okay next up we have another mystery month box because i don't know what month it's from okay in box number two we have some orange paper so here we go Ooh, this one looks very hefty. This is a very hefty box. This looks kind of inky as well. Oh, I'm seeing cursive. Uh, calligraphy, probably not cursive writing. Wow, that, that took me back a few years. So inside this box, we have a Royal and Langnickel Gold Talcon Watercolor Acrylic and Tempera uh, brush set. Next up, we have a little smart art sticker here, as you can see. These wouldn't be kind of like long lasting laptop stickers, but they're quite nice stickers. We have a Fabriano little booklet here. Oh, there's, oh, there's more candy, there's more candy. Sugar. Okay, so we have a Fabriano beautifully purpley plum um, bullet journal. Um, I actually have one of these in grey and as much as I love it, you really can't use it as like a bullet journal because the pages really fall out of the binding area very easily. So they just kind of like fall out. So these aren't good really for actual journaling. So that's very, very nice. Next up we have A little bit sour, but they're not that bad. They're not that bad. Next up, we have some Spectrum Noir metallic markers. I really like Smart Art because they often will have things in their boxes that I've not seen before, which is pretty nice. So these are Spectrum Noir metallic twin tip metallic markers. That was a mouthful. Metallic, metallic, metallic markers. Oh, these, oh my gosh. These are so pretty. Look at the colors in that. That's so nice. I really like that a lot my favorite color let's see shall we so we have a small nib and then we have a brush nib as well oh my gosh look how pretty that is that's so nice that is so pretty i really love the color of that and again i'm really not a marker person but that is so nice this is what i was talking about see the paper just like tears out very easily which is kind of a pain in the butt but I mean, if you only want to like rip out single sheets at a time, then this will work perfectly for you. So yeah, I'm not a marker person, but these are bloody nice. I like them a lot. So we have Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black Paper. This is very nice paper. This is too fancy for me. This is very nice. I like that. I don't really want to waste the paper, but... <gasps> Look at that, look how that pops. Isn't that cool? And last but not least, we have our leaflet and we also have three inks in here. Ooh, these are by Abstract. Abstract by Sennelia, I think it is. Sennelia, Sennelia, Sennelia. Is that how you say it? <laughs> so we have a red, a yellow and a white acrylic ink by uh, Abstract Sennelia brand in the shades Cadmium. Ton Rouge de Cadmium Fonce. Oh, that's the French version. <laughs> 
Anton Juan de Cadmium Fonse. Fonse? Fonse? I don't know how to say that. Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. And these are cadmium free. I think from memory, I learned that if something is cadmium hue, it's not actual cadmium because cadmium is a cancerous um, substance. Then we also have a blank de titane, which is also known as titanium white. And last but not least, we have some beautiful bubble wrap. So this is all basically a hand lettering box. So as you can see from the example, um, they're just showing you how you can create hand lettering. And also inside here, they show you the way that you format your letters. 10 out of 10, really enjoyed this box. So we have our third box. Let's see what's inside. Okay, I wonder if we have more orange paper. I didn't cut that. Okay, I see one of those acrylic, is that an acrylic spray? Oh no, these are messy. Damn, this has a lot of stuff in there. Look how much stuff is inside. This is neat. Okay, is that denim? But here we have some lovely denim sheets. Oh, we have some, we have some dark denim. We have denim, denim on denim, on denim, on denim. Justin Timberlake, eat your heart out. So we have two, four, six sheets of denim, on denim, on denim. I'm kind of candied out actually. I know it's a shock, right? So we have a lot of these, why are these? I'm very confused because these, there's three of these together and there's also another three of what I'm guessing are the same, but they're all individually wrapped and I'm not sure why. Okay, this is a textile, textile plus. Do you say textile if there's no E? I don't know, textile plus. Saliva resistant, what does that mean? So I'm guessing that means if you have a baby and it's saliva's all over your denim sheets, it's gonna stay on just fine. <laughs> so we have a um, fabric, fabric paint, there we go, it's a fabric paint, okay. So I'm guessing this is a black because it looks black to me. Blue fabric paint, which is also saliva resistant. And then we also have a bright, we also have a bright yellow, which is like a Ferrari kind of car. Very nice yellow. We have, ooh, we, we have fashion, fashion shimmer. Oh, okay. We have shimmer spray on our denim sheet. That is actually quite pretty. That's nice, I like that. Apparently it's washable up to 40 degrees and I'm guessing that's Celsius, which means that that is 110-ish Fahrenheit. 104 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a little bit high, but 104. Next up, we have some more text. Yeah, we have more textile paints. White saliva resistant textile plus paint. We have a green textile plus ink. No, it's not ink, it's paint. I'm stupid, it's paint. This one doesn't say saliva resistant either. That's really strange. Okay. And then we have this one too. You know, I think Smart Art is such a fun box because they have such a varied type of creative stuff inside. Like if you're someone that sticks to one type of art, then they're probably not for you. But if you're someone that likes to try crafty things and loads of different things, they really, really go to town teaching you how to actually like fully, like they really go to town teaching you how to use these different types of um, supplies. We have a fashion liner. Maybe I should paint on some clothes. A fashion liner. Fabric paint here, fabric paint. Next up, we have a silhouette stencil that looks like this, very, very pretty. If you wanna, um, if you wanna like decorate your clothes or anything. Then we have our sticker, which looks like this. And we have two pencils. These are Boy, bar, boy by Royal, Royal Langnickel, I'm guessing. These are Aqualon pen, paint brushes. Slightly bigger, I really like that. And then we have one, that's very, very pointed. So if you wanna just like, if you just wanna like admire how nice these look before I completely destroy them, let's just have a moment of, of appreciation for these. Okay, that is our next box empty. This is the heaviest boy. This is a big, this is a big boy, this one. Okay, inside of this one we have, ooh, okay. This is a nice, this is a nice full boy again. You know, I'm actually really impressed with Smart Art lately. They've gotten better and better as time's gone on. Firstly, we have a Durabrite white, opaque white, non-staining reusable, heat tolerant, heavyweight, non-absorbent, 
absorbent waterproof whatever this is it doesn't actually say what it is it just says opaque white i'm guessing it's paper it's got to be paper right it feels smooth kind of feels like a baby's butt it's like baby butt paper and it's almost as pale as i am heat tolerant why would you want it to be heat tolerant what's that why, why would you want that we have Stonehenge, I've seen these a lot in art boxes too, Stonehenge White Paper by Legion, uh, 15 sheets, 250 GSM, acid free and 100% cotton. Very nice, very, very fancy paper, like that a lot. Oh, you know what this is? This is like marbling. Is this marbling? Yes. Okay, so this is a marbling box. I like that. Damn, there's a lot of stuff in here. Look at this. That is a lot. I found gold dust. I'm so happy. This is the best day of my life. Oh, we have some sticks. They've come out of their bag, but we have some sticks. Bamboo skewers. So, you know, if you get any of the, where's the candy? It's like, yes. So if you get any of this candy stuck in your teeth, you know, you can just sort of like, maybe don't do that. Cause I don't know if these are clean. They're probably not clean to do that with. So don't do that. Next up, we have some easy mu- Oh, this looks so fun. Danger, flammable poison, inflammable poison. Okay, this is great. It's not only flammable poison, it is also inflammable poison. Black, a gold, and a, I don't know what that top one is. That also looks black, but I'm guessing it's not. We have three marble colors in here, as you can see. Very pretty, not seen those before. We then have another set. We have red, orange, and yellow. Those are very good. Oh, you know what? These are colors that go well together in a mar- that makes sense, in a marble thing. And this has got- this one was gray. Gray, gold, and black. And then- oh, this one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. We have a blue, a mint, and a dark blue. Like a baby blue, and then a dark blue. Very pretty. Okay, then we have some Spectrum Noir art liners Ooh, okay this is cool we have zero zero five zero five and br which means brush i'm guessing <laughs> we have our second lollipop of the day i'm gonna put that down because i'm gonna get a cavity and i can't go to the dentist for like a year so gonna be careful and now lastly we have a little oh look how cute is the little monkey they gave me a little monkey paper clip. That's really cute. They've given me some like different paper samples, which I'm guessing are for the dipping of the marbling stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then a smart art sticker, which is quite big. So this, this is a fun kit. This one is really, really fun. Um, and this is what I mean about smart art. You don't tend to see these types of supplies in other art boxes purely because they are strictly like drawing illustration marker kits whereas these are more like creative try brand new different types of art kits um so i really like these i'm definitely gonna give these a go at some point i think they're very very nice um but yeah this is this is the last box these are these are very precious to me i shall not lose those okay so that was all four boxes thank you so 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 much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it um i didn't make art in this video today because honestly I've made art in a lot, a lot of like big scale, small scale, random object related scaled things lately. Um, so if you do want to see me making actual art, you can definitely go and watch some of my previous videos. Um, for this one, I just want to do something sort of sit down and relaxed. And you'll definitely see some of these art supplies used in future videos. Thank you so much again to Native for sponsoring this video today. Make sure you check them out in the description down below, by the way. Let me know in the comments down below which box was your favorite. I think I really liked the marbling box. I think that was probably my favourite. Smart art, you did good. You did good. Also, if you do enjoy my content, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notif notification. Can't, can't talk. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you do enjoy my content because I have lots more where this came from. So, if you want to subscribe, you can do that. Turn notifications on, thumbs up, all that good stuff. So, once again, thank you for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.